everyone. Welcome to episode four of Barge Kitchen Papers. Um, I know we are not on Facebook today because they are having some massive uh, glitches. So we are on YouTube and then I will be loading this up uh, to the Facebook page. So what do you like for summer snacks? Uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be making a summer snack. And tell me, how do you like your marshmallows, like your roasted marshmallows? Um, do you like them burnt? Do you like them just white? <laughs> do you like them just a tiny bit of brown? Um, or do you like them ooey gooey inside? You can tell us in the comments. Um, so what I'm going to do is make a s'mores like little dessert here. And I have crescent rolls that I already opened so you don't have to hear the pop sound. And we're going to unroll these. Um, try to unroll them. The pan is already greased. I used the little silicone baster brush here to put some olive oil on the bar pan. And I'm trying to see where these are serrated at and I'm not seeing the opening. So what are your plans for the 4th of July tomorrow? Do you live somewhere where you can set off fireworks? Actually, New Jersey just uh, in the last year or so, two years, I think, um, it is now legal. You can buy fireworks and set them off, but they're all like the little the, the sparklers and the flowers and the little worms, all those little ones. The little cone fountains are now legal here. So that is fun because I grew up uh, being able to set off fireworks. These are not coming apart. So usually these, here we go, these croissant are triangular shaped. So here's one so you can see it and you just lay it out. And what we're going to do is put a few chocolate chips in and I have large marshmallows here so you can easily cut them down so it's more like the mini size and this way it will um, melt better too instead of just putting one big one in there. So we have some pieces it around and then we're just going to roll these up and so now it is stuffed with the chocolate and the marshmallow and those will bake in the oven now i also have um you can color them for the fourth of july we can put some red or blue sugar pieces so I have red already, and I'm going to show you how you can make your own colored sugar very easily with just sugar and food coloring. So it makes it easy if you don't have the color that you're looking for. And you can do that. Roll this one up too. And then These will puff up like the croissants and all of the stuff will melt inside your ooey gooey nest. So we'll make this one with some red. You can see that red on it. And then I'm gonna do the next one blue. And the sugar will caramelize to an oven. Now you only need a couple drops. Um, let's start off with one. You do not need much food coloring when you are coloring things. So it works its way through this sugar. That was probably about a one and a half tablespoons of sugar in here. And just one drop, and it colored that very nicely. So you want to evenly distribute it. A little more stirring. 
and then I'm just going to put that on top of this other one. Nice. So we have a red one, a blue one, and then you can leave some plain for your white. You could put more than one color on each um, of them, but it's a little way to make s'mores type of dessert um, without having to roast things over an open flame. But also I want to let you know, we do have uh, s'mores sticks. They come in a set of four and they extend just over three feet long. And right now you can get them for free the, the beginning of this month, July. You can get the s'mores fondue uh, stick set for free. So you can ask me how and I'll be sure to fill you in and let you know. But thanks for watching episode four. Again, you can share this out once it's um, uploaded to Facebook and Thanks for watching. Enjoy your 4th of July.